All right, today we're going to learn how to navigate with the Garmin Forerunner 205. If you have the 305, works basically the same way. So in this example here today, we'll do here is we're going to mark where our dog leash is at. And with all the GPS's, especially with the Forerunner, we can navigate from point A to point B. So let's say that we're going to mark this spot and we're going to go somewhere else in the park and we want to return to the spot to get back to our leash and, and our ball. So in order to do that, we'll get a closer look of the Forerunner. And what we'll do here is hit on mode and then we'll go down to navigation. And we'll choose the first option which is to mark location. So this will mark our current position. And here we are. Now notice here that it will automatically start to number the waypoint name numerically. So you can see it's 0.6. We can change this if we wanted to. Uh, but we'll keep it on uh, at the default. We can also uh, change the coordinates manually if we wanted to. So if we were uh, reading up on a trailhead in a magazine or something like that, we can enter the waypoints manually. Now, uh, as compared to the Forerunner 405, you can download waypoints directly from your PC or Mac to the device. Something you can't do with the 405. So let's say we mark the location here like that and now we're, what we're going to do is going to walk to another location in the park and do a go to all right so here we are another point in the park and now we're, it's time to navigate from uh, where we are right now to our waypoint or starting location from here from the main menu we'll just go down to navigation and we're going to do a find we're going to choose nearest and that will list our saved waypoints from nearest to furthest. So we can see our point number six from earlier is listed on top. We're going to hit enter. We're going to do go to. Now this gives us a map view. However, we'll hit mode and we'll actually get the compass page, which will give us distance to destination and our direction of travel. Now we have to start walking in order to see this change. So I want to start walking. And hopefully it will change. There it is. 30 meters. Now our goal here is to try to get as close to zero as possible. As we get closer, we'll see the alert saying that we're getting close. Now with uh, while GPS is there is some accuracy so if you're in an open field you'll get better satellite accuracy. If you are in the woods you might uh, have a, a bigger radius of accuracy. So we're going to try to get close to zero as possible. This might be the best that we can do which is good because there's our dog leash. Once you're all done you simply need to hit go back to navigation and stop the go to. That's what will make sure that uh, you ain't doing anything funky when you're actually doing a real workout and you don't actually need to navigate. And that's how you navigate with the Forerunner 205.